Hi everyone, my name is David and last year I did a tutorial on all of the click track functionality in Cubase, but with the release of Cubase 9.5, Steinberg saw it in their heart to add a bunch of features to the click track. So today I'm gonna cover all of those new features. Let's do it. So the click track is essential to any modern production environment. It's just hard to get by producing music if you're not using a click. And that doesn't mean that you need to quantize everything to the grid, but it is a great way to keep in time, especially if you're producing everything by yourself, which is what I do 95% of the time. So the click in Cubase is pretty identifiable. If you've ever used Cubase, you've heard this before. And you know what that's all about. And I personally love the sound of Cubase's click. Some people don't. And uh, prior to these new features, it was harder to change the sounds. Now I think it's easier than ever. So in order to get to the metronome settings, uh, down here where you see the little metronome, uh, there's a open metronome setup button right here. You click on that. And here is the general interface. This is where you can select how many bars you want it to count in. You can define a time signature here as well. I typically use a signature track if I'm going to be switching time signatures within a song, or if it's any non-traditional signature like three, four, I'll use the signature track and that's how I'll define temp, uh, that's how I'll define time signatures. But you can define it here in the metronome uh, set up as well. So you won't really be using this panel except for to set up your click and then to go. And for the counting also, I always use two bars counting. I know that a lot of professional composers use one bar. I just feel more comfortable if I get that like, and on your marks, get set, go, instead of just like on your marks, go, you know? So I, always, I still use two bars and I I wonder over the years how much time that's cost me, but who knows, maybe I get cleaner takes because I do have the two bar count in. So this, this page is pretty standard. This is all stuff that was in the last version as well in terms of metronome options. Then we get to click sounds and here you can choose either MIDI click or audio click. And for MIDI, you can use any MIDI sound you want as your click, but you have to set that up. So it typically defaults to this, use audio click. What I'll do is I'll click use MIDI click. We'll go to MIDI sounds and we'll change all these to C1. Okay, so what we need to do is add an instrument track. And I'll just add groove agent because that's easy enough. And we'll open up groove agent. And we need to have a sample for our click. So I'll open up the media bay and we'll search for a hi-hat. Um, that's as good as any. And we'll put that, we'll drag and drop that to C1 and that'll become our click sound. So we just go back to our metronome settings and we connect this to Groove Agent Main and that hi-hat that we chose will now become our click sound. So that's how you use MIDI to achieve a uh, click sound in Cubase. Now let's go back here and let's use custom audio. So we'll use audio click and it says use Steinberg click sounds. Now there's a new thing where you can use custom sounds and I recorded this little piece of audio before, so let's listen to it. Uh, click, 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 click. <laughs> so that's the sound I want to use for the click, me saying click. And so I found that in my uh, file browser. And you have to know where it is. This is just from the pool of the project, click audio 0101, because I didn't label my tracks, which is bad practices, but it's okay if you're just doing a tutorial. So I want that click to be the sound of click. We'll disconnect the MIDI. We'll go back to audio click. And with all that routed, click, 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 click. That's how you use a different sound for audio click. You just find it in your file browser and assign it to your uh, click sound. Now, the cool thing about the new metronome settings is that Cubase has included some standard sounds like uh, people like a clave sometimes. 
and and that's kind of nice to have uh, just a bank of sounds that you can use without having to hunt around in your file browser for them. So that's how you do audio clicks. And let's go into the final new feature, which I really like. And it's, well, I'll go back to the default. I always use the default anyway, but if you don't like the default, you do have options to change it. So the final thing, and I think this is only in Cubase Pro, is these click patterns. These things are awesome, especially if you're using funky time signatures. Um, but even for 4.4, four, and you can see the patterns here also, you have half tempo, double tempo, or as 6.8, and you see you can these are fully editable. So, but we can listen to this. So that's kind of cool to be able to use. Or, you know, the default is uh, obviously just the 2, 3, 4, 2, 2, 3, 4. And when we go back into the click patterns, it's easy enough to add patterns and it's easy to edit them here on the signature track. But I'm, I'm thinking of something like seven, eight or nine, eight even. Uh, if you think of, let's let's add a nine, eight, uh, like Dave Brubeck's time out, or it's like da 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 and I've always counted nine eight like one two one two one two one two three one two one two one two one two three one two one two one two one two three, and here, in the project, if we have a nine eight time signature, this is what it sounds like. And if you're not used to that, or if you want those accents one two one two one two one two three, this is how you would set up something like that. So you come in here, and you do one two. One, two, one, two, one, two, three. So it'd be something like this. And you can get more of a groove that way because of these features in the metronome without having to switch time signatures, which is what I used to have to do if I was <clears throat> struggling with the groove of a weird time signature. Or if you want to go to halftime or something, that's easily programmable. So if we switch this back to 4.4, four, and this is the default, but in the next bar, if we wanted to switch to halftime, so we want to add 4.4 four as well. We just draw in a new signature that can be four four, but we can choose from this drop down menu the half time. So we can see over two bars the click will change, but the time signature will stay the same. And so that's super handy if we have different parts and we want it to count differently, but we don't want to be changing around our signature too much. So that basically covers all of the new functionality of the click track in Cubase 9.5. I hope you all have found this video useful. If you have, feel free to like or subscribe and take care of yourselves, everyone. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.